Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so sorry I'm a bit late. Um, we've, this is our first day back, so in a minute I've got a class arriving, just a couple of people coming for their taster course. So first one's back, and I've just been preparing prepping up the flowers ready for them to arrive. So really excited. And next week we go back to catching up some of the students who um, missed the classes uh, before break, um, COVID started. So um, good morning. We've got no one, um, unfortunately, we've got no one welcoming you in this morning because Catherine's teaching in Bristol today. Um, so I, hopefully I might see you and say hello as you're coming in. So just wanted to go through um, conditioning for you. It's a really important part of floristry. It makes you get the best out of the flowers. So um, whenever you have new flowers in, you must always give them a bit of a condition. That's, if you buy them from a florist, the florist will have done that for you. But um, if, you have, if they've been out of water for a while, it's always good to redo the conditioning. So we're gonna, this, I've just had some beautiful flowers arrive from BJ. Um, he's the one that we use down in Saltash in Cornwall. And um, he's, he's amazing. He's done this beautiful little selection of his locally grown flowers. And oh, it's so exciting. It's like being in a toy shop when you arrived this morning. The box was there, ready for me. And you open it up and ooh, it's like Christmas all over again. So what we got in the little pot today, we have got a lovely scabious. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Um, we've got some centuria, which are cornflower. Um, we've got some more um, scabious, different colour there, look. How beautiful is that? Um, we've got a dahlia, dahlia. They went out of fashion and now they're back with a vengeance. And I've got a different colour there. Right, and then I have got some, and this is how they've arrived. They've arrived in the bit of cellophane to keep them safe. And what we do is we cut that open, let's get started. And then, good morning Anne, I think Anne's, hi Anne. Thanks for coming. Um, Anne's doing our level five and um, she's been busy doing the theory for the level five, so no rest for her. <laughs> and um, this is Amy. This is beautiful, Amy. It's going to give some nice texture. So what the most important thing to do is to strip the leaves below the water level. And like I think I mentioned to you before, you cut a really sharp slant. Can you see that? And the reason why we do that is we open up all the little vascular bundles in there. So it enables um, the water and the food that you've put in the water to go up. And then you want to pop that in a fairly deep bit of water. And ideally, you want them to put can't see, there's a bucket there. Um, ideally, you want to do that 24 hours before they go into foam, but obviously today we're going to be doing little hand tied bunches, so they'll be going in water. So again, stripping the leaves. Now we strip the leaves because we don't want the, the leaves to rot in the water. So empty water, find out where your water level is and take all the leaves off to that point so that it keeps the water a bit fresh and stops it going stale. So I've got some Ulstro here. I am rushing here because I don't want the, what time is it? Oh, it's just going to be a short one today. So I suppose this might be the end of our, oh hi Fiona, that's my friend Fiona there. Um, this might be the end of our Friday focuses for the time being because we get back and the classroom's going to be busy with people coming and going. But what we plan to do, this is a lovely centurion, pop that in the bucket there. Um, what I plan to do is plan to go out and um, now, we can, now we can escape and we can get out there. Um, I want to go out and have a look at some of our students that have opened up florists. So I'm going to ask some students whether they're happy for me to roam around and go and film them in their shop and have a little look at the, you know, what they've been up to and see what their shops are like and I thought that'd be really interesting. And maybe um, when we all get back to doing events, we can follow some of our students doing events and weddings and things. So I thought that's how we would continue. And also Tina, um, Tina Parts, who unfortunately hasn't been able to come into the studio because she's, um, she's uh, distancing at home. But she would like to do some sort of advanced um, sort of skill building with you as well. So that's what we've got planned to keep us live and to keep you interested, hopefully. So I'm just going to whisk that together. I've got some um, eucalyptus here. Again, I'm going to use the little bits of that. So cutting sharp slant. Make sure there's food in the water, but not too much. So read the instructions. If you put too much, you get a re reverse osmosis, which basically means 
you take out the goodness in the stem and back into the water. So that's why it's important. You can use a bit of um, sugar, you can use a bit of bleach, but just be careful on the quantities, okay? So, I'm going to pop that in there. Now, I'm just going to show you a quick little spiral hand tide, and then we will have to call it a day, I'm thinking. So, I'm just going to strip those off, because I'm going to hold it here. I'm just going to start um, spiraling these stems into a little posy. And this is one thing that, if you come to a taster today, or one of our courses, this is a fundamental thing that we do for our students. And because I've got a beautiful wild bunch of flowers, I'm just going to do them at different levels. So they undulate up and down. And I'll look at the colour of that in there. Just breaking up with a little bit of foliage every now and again. So, again, removing the foliage below my tie point, popping it in. Just a little quick demo, not a real proper lesson for you, but just to get you inspired into recapping some of the knowledge we spoke um, taught you if you are a student and you are itching to get back hopefully or if, you, if you're not one of our students then maybe you'd like to come we've got some beautiful courses we've got um, our, our level two fast track over the summer we've got um, if you can't do that we've got some courses in September we've got our level three starting back we've got a level four starting in um, January and we've got a new garden course, we've got a garden course, and also we've got our new flowers for the home course. So if you don't really want to be a qualified florist but really love flowers, then you might want to do that one. And that's in, um, I think it's in October, but everything's on our website. So I'm just building those up because I'm going to put those in a little vase for myself a bit later on to take home. Because one thing I've missed over the lockdown is having flowers in the house. So I've just made sure I've always got some. So there you go. So just going to build that up into a lovely little bunch. Honestly, I'm going to have to say goodbye. But thank you so much for joining me. If you've liked this and you've watched this a bit further and you want me to continue, then if you give me a like or a thumbs up or I don't know what you do on Instagram, but if you can like it or something, then if we've got loads and loads and loads and loads of them, then you know maybe I'll find a way to carry on and we'll do some more designs with you. Um, but yeah, show us if you like it or not. Give a thumbs up or a heart and whatever you do on Instagram. You can tell I'm not that techno. It's all been a new learning curve. So thank you so much for joining me down in lockdown and the academy. And we've really enjoyed it. And um, we will be back, but we will post what we're going to be doing. And um, we'll see you all soon. So it's a little short one today. And it's a, it's a goodbye from me. And hopefully see you at the academy soon. All right.